Moles have to be one of the easiest animals to survey for. They leave molehills in uh, obvious positions, so they're uh, very easy to tell when they're there. However, they're very rarely seen. Uh, sometimes during the year, the young will come up and move when they've uh, got to find a new uh, territory. However, most of the time spent on the ground, so we rarely see them. But it's possible to use live traps. However, please don't use live traps unless you've been properly trained and know what you're doing. Right. Well, we're going to go and set some wool traps and I'm wearing a mask and also gloves to make sure that I don't spread coronavirus to the wild mammals of the area. Uh, so, moles are really easy to record. They leave nice big wool hills, but they're rarely seen. So hopefully, we'll put out some traps and we'll see a mole. Right, so a couple of, well, quite a few moles here, but these two are very fresh. We're going to work out where the tunnel is to put the uh, the trap, and the easiest way to do that, just put your foot. I've actually got it straight away. My, my heel sunk right in. So just dig it out. Now you can use a big spade, but I feel that's too invasive. So just a small trowel does the job just as well. Dig it out and work out where the tunnels are. It actually bends round about here. traps have been out for a wee while. Let's just go and check and see if we've got a mole or not. Right, so let's see if we've got a mole. There's a marker. Feels quite light, so I don't think we do. No, we don't. I'll get four more out, so let's go and see what they are. Let's see if we've got any more success with this one. Marker. And... Mole. And this looks good. Let's just... Pop it in here. And look what we've got. A nice mole. Looks a bit small, so I think this is one of this year's young. And it's doing a nice poo and female. So I'm really chuffed to get this. You can see, look at those big, big paws in the front for in the boot claws for digging, and they've got whiskers that help them see where they're going in the dark. Although they can see reasonably well and above ground, they don't need to see that well underground, and they can see well enough above ground to move around. Uh, but underground they can't see, so they use their whiskers and also their hairs and their uh, the shorter hairs and their snout to see where they're going. But also, because they sometimes need to go backwards, their hairy tails also 
take them here, uh, tell them where to go. So I'm really pleased that we've actually managed to get them all. So I think this deserves a selfie. Except I'm wearing gloves, so I can't use my fingerprint lock to unlock the, the phone. So, right. A nice. Photo like that. And. Come round. Oops. And get one like this. Right, and I don't want to keep it any longer than that, so we'll pop it back in the tunnel. I think what I might do is just take a little video of it. Right, off you go. I don't want to put the soil back on top of you, so you're going to go. Yeah, she's back in the tunnel. Well, second one has proved successful, so let's see if I can get any more. No, nope. too light. What can sometimes happen, like it's happened here, is the soil has been pushed in and kept this up the way so, that, so it wouldn't actually drop down. So it could have actually been a mole in there. It can't be helped. Um, and like most trapping, it's trial and error. So our last one, let's see if there's anything in this one. Oh. Nothing again. These are going freely so it suggests that there was never anything in it at any point. So one out of four isn't bad and at least we've got a mole. Right as that's the mole trapping finished I'm able to take off my mask and not be steamed up again and actually see what I'm doing. Uh, so that's mole trapping and mo the, as I said don't try and mole trap if you haven't been trained how to do it. Uh, it's very easily for a mole very easy for a mole to die in the trap if it's not done properly. 